So when you first come into the cabin, please make sure that um, your taps are closed. And also under here is where your drain valve is for your caravan. So if the yellow lever just there, it's currently horizontal. That means when you bring water in, it will stay in the caravan's uh, water system. Now, when you have finished with the caravan over winter, you must drain the system. Just by lifting the yellow lever up, that will drain the water out of the caravan. Obviously, make sure your taps are open as well. Okay, so first things first. When you plug into your mains, basically you'll have this lit up here, okay? And um, that's if you want to go on battery. It will also show as well at the top there how many volts from the battery. Very straightforward, okay? Um, then under here, so not only are the um, trips there, but you'll see you've got three switches, space heater, water heater, and battery charger. Self-explanatory, so battery charger, you know, always on when you're on mains, it gives it a slight feed, not designed to charge it all, but just designed to keep it where it is. Space heater for his room heater on mains, and water heater is water, water heater on mains. Before you switch water heater on, you must make sure you're bringing water through the caravan. So when you're plugged in, just push this one here, which is water pump, as you can see, okay? And then open the taps and bring water through. By pressing the water, water pump just like so, okay? When you've got water coming through like that on both this tap and the one in the washroom, um, on both cold and hot settings, then you can turn your water heater on, which is that one at the bottom that I just showed you, okay? That will take about 15-20 minutes to heat up. I have had this on already today, um, so you should be able to see some hot water coming out of here. A bit of steam and a bit of water. It's difficult on a camera to see, but that is, uh, as you can see, plenty of steam coming through there now. So as you can see, we've got steam coming off the water system just like that. Okay, so now it's hot water. Okay, again, that takes 15, 20 minutes from standing to start. I've had it on this morning, so that's why it's uh, hot already. Now for your room heat, and again, just remember to put that one on, um, just there, look, the space heater, okay? And then you come to this panel here, where it's got ultra heat. So currently it's in the off position. Flick it up to 2000, you see green light come on. That means it's on 2,000 watts of, a, uh, of electric, 500 or 1,000, okay? And your thermostat's in the middle, turn it up and down. And then room heating will take about sort of 15, well about 20 minutes, half an hour to get hot, okay? If you want to heat the water on gas, then all you do is flick this one down. Onto there, you hear it click into life. And that means you're heating the water on gas, as well as mains, because obviously it's got it on switched on mains. If you want to heat the car on gas, what we need to do is push this down just so far around and then I'll hopefully be able to show you there you are look all lit on gas okay this is the fan this side now for the fan to be you know really beneficial please make sure the cabin is fully heated first otherwise you just blow cold air around okay I'm now going to show you your cooker working and I hope that the foam will stay up and not fall over if it does I apologize so always do the cooker top first when you're doing things on gas. I mean I've done it uh, this morning, set it up for you like that and so it just means that you're priming the cabin of gas really. I will do the grill and oven and I'll bring the phone down so you can see. So if I just show you, they're all lit on gas as you can see, so is the grill, so is the oven. So they're all now turned off. I'll just show you where your grill pan is. That's under there, look. Okay. Your fridge, very straightforward, on and off, power source. So we're putting on mains electric and the temperature at the maximum. Just pushing it lights up. That is purely if you're towing. That is not the caravan leisure battery, that's purely the uh, car battery. That's if you're on gas. So you get a flame on there. It ticks and bursts into life, very straightforward. And the blue light stays on as normal. And then again, back onto whichever one you want on there. So that's temperature, which, in all fairness, you want up the maximum one. I know you can't see a cold fridge on a on a, on a um, video, but you can see the light, lights on and it is cold. 
Okay, and that turns it on and off. Very straightforward. So I'll just show you your toilet for flushing. So you just pull this handle up and then down. And that plus, that's the flush system. So that shows you how that all works. And then if I just show you the lights are on as well, look, in the caravan. So you can see everything, everything is actually working. So all lit up, one under there, one under there. And then there's the only one as well, which is just this side. Just behind the door, I think it is, yes. If I just, there you go. Touch your caravan handover, we'll see you when you come to collect.